right, friends, so today we're gonna change the fans on the uh, traction battery. So first things first, we need to pull the floor mat out. And I can't stress enough, if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. This is a 330 volt battery pack. It's more than enough to send you to your next life. So we're going to unlock this, take it out and put it in the service shipping configuration, which means that it cannot connect and it is basically neutered as much as it can be. So you will need a T30 security bit. You can buy these at your local um, store or on Amazon. It has a little tiny indentation in the middle of it, matches with these. Um, I bought these at Home Depot for $6 for a set. So at this point, I need some tools. I'll be right back. All right, so let's see if that, no, that doesn't fit, but that does. I think it's a 10 millimeter, but a 5 16 will do the trick. And there are a couple of bolts that need to be removed. It's okay to use a power tool to remove these, but when you're tightening them, you want to be really careful because it just goes into plastic. That looks like a screw in there. So let me go get a screw bit. All right, so. That didn't really seem to be in there. This should come off at this point. And I'm just gonna set it back in here. We don't go need to go any deeper in there. Next, we've got a bunch of screws to deal with. So basically, all of these need to come out and then these need to be loosened to give us the working room we need. So we'll start over here. Now I'm also going to go ahead and loosen these. All right. So at this point, this should just lift off. I'm going to actually take some bolts out here because it's not being cooperative. Oh, it's because this one's not out. I'm still taking these out. It 
looks like I'm going to have to loosen the rest of them. Okay. All right, so this is loose. Now this can go out on the floor mat. And these need to come off, but these need to be clipped. So let me go get some clippers. So we're going to clip these. And then we've got a couple of screws up here. this point one more here All right, and we're just going to take that and set it there And then we've got these bolts. But first, let's do a test and see which one's one and which one's two. So that's one and that's two. Dead as a doornail. That one works, but you know, we're in here, we're replacing both of them. So while that finishes, I'm going to go get the socket. I think it's a 10 millimeter. So I've got my 10 millimeter driver.
All right, so the connector's in here. All right, so there's a little post that has to come out of the way first. And then there's a ground wire. I'm gonna go get a knife, I'll be right back. All right. There we go. Just had to cut the stupid foam. Replacement fans on eBay, but they are genuine Ford parts. And the reason I did it is, it was the same price to buy a genuine Ford part as it was to buy remanufactured. So something that's been used for $179 at local auto parts store or brand new factory parts for two for 350. Yeah, this was not a hard choice. So it looks like this just drops back down in here. Gosh, that's really nice. Okay. Oh, you gotta love that. That doesn't get much better. And in case you were doubting, yep, there's the original Ford part instructions. And here is the defective part. Uh, I'm not going to abuse it, but I'm not going to do very much with it either. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in. All right, and then this goes back down in here and get to lift that up to get it in. Amazing. There's another one over here. Again, that just lifts out, which you've got to unclip this.
All right, and there is a little red tab that slides in. I guess it's a locking tab. So we gotta gain access to that on this one. Fortunately, it's right there. It looks like they included some more of the foam. Isn't that sweet? Along with some official Ford Motor Company zip ties and some little patty things and whatever that is. Now, I do want to take a second to wrap up the one that was good because I'm going to resell it. Not perfect, but it'll work. Okay, so at this point, we need to put these two grounds back onto their bonding point. All right, now we're gonna do another, uh, another battery test. I wanna make sure they're working. All right, both fans are gone. That's a happy sight. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and uh, they're both on low. So yeah, this is, a, this is a success. At this point, what I need to do is button everything back up. All right, so let's start with zip ties. foam tape.
Okay, so that all looks good. We'll slip this little support peg back in. All right, oh, makes my back hurt. Remember, this is an airtight area, so this has to, this little gasket has to be in here. That looks pretty good right there. So next, we need to reattach 
this and I'm gonna use the 10 millimeter because I'm pretty sure that's what these are yep Not sure why this is so difficult. <sighs> Go get a flat tip screwdriver. All right. So there's some kind of attachment here on the side and you ain't getting to it. That's just the nicest way I can put it. You're not getting to it. Oh, you know, I've got some extra bolts. I'll just go over there. There we go. So that's going to be a pinch point that's hard to get to. Now at this point, Hopefully you don't do what I did and insert this little plug. All right. And then that little plug goes there instead. So all right, at this point, we just need to put it back together. So I'm gonna start in the back and tighten screws.
All right. And this is as much of a pin as it is a screw. So they can just go in there. That is it, from start to finish. So it really wasn't as bad as I expected. There's one last thing. So you gotta take this and put it in unlock and then arm the battery. At which point, she's back together. And of course, this has to go back together too. But this isn't that big of a deal. There it is, fully back together. And I didn't kill the battery in the GoPro. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And um, you know, if your Escape Hybrid has this problem, you can do this too.